Welcome back to wagertalk.com. This is the video you guys wait for each and every week. It's the video best bets. All three of us will give you our best bet for this week. Let's get it started with Preston. He's got a Thursday night baseball game. We're taping here on Wednesday, and you're looking at the Yankees and the Red Sox uh, going Thursday night, Pineda and Wright. What are you looking at, Preston? Yeah, I was really, really surprised to see the number as high as it is. So we're, we're taking a shot um, on the dog. Hopefully people have been following my Australia Olympics hoops plays I've been tweeting out the last week, and so if this loses, they don't get too upset. But uh, I actually bet the opener um, was plus 151, and then right before we started this video, um, I saw that it's actually opening everywhere else now, like 165 and 170. So I, and that's like 53 cents high. It's it's an extremely high price. Uh, so that's just a, a numbers play. I think there's a gigantic edge there getting you know, at least three to two on uh, Pineda, who's, who's the guy that kind of catches steam every week because his peripherals are really, really strong, but his actual numbers have been bad. And so at worst, I think you'll be able to bet plus 165, plus 170, and tomorrow if you want to just lay minus, you know, 130 or 40 and scalp a few cents on each side, free lunch or something. Um, I think at worst that's a possibility. I'm going to let it ride, though. I, I think, you know, getting 50 cents at this point in the season in a baseball game is just a, a lot of value to, to be had. So Pineda, plus 165 to 170, really good down to 150, to be honest. Yeah, you're not going to lose any money in the long run betting the dog in that series. That's true, too. Yeah. They, uh, they definitely don't like each other. And, no, uh, it's, it, very if you were just blindly, I don't know what happened this year, but if you just blindly play the dog in that series, you've been a moneymaker. All right, and uh, I'm going to go with mine uh, since it's a Thursday play. We'll go to mine next. And uh, we've been having success going with and against uh, Pittsburgh uh, on the videos with our plays, and we're going to take Pittsburgh tomorrow. They are the early numbers at minus $1.70 on Pittsburgh. Uh, they got Jamison uh, Talon on the mound, and the Pirates have brought up a lot of young pitchers this year, part of it due to injuries, um, and he is the leader in the clubhouse. Let's put it that way. He's been the best. Last five starts, he's got an ERA of 2.40. His strikeout-to-walk ratio right now, 28-1 to one in those five starts. Just unheard of for a young pitcher to have that kind of control. And let's, if you're not issuing free passes and putting guys on base, you know, that you're helping your cause right there. And the kid's got good stuff. He's going to be going against San Diego. San Diego, as bad as they are, they're a 500 ball club at night. But in the daytime, they're 10 and 26. And tomorrow's game is the getaway game in Pittsburgh. Um, it's a 1235 local start uh, in Pittsburgh. So for the body clocks for San Diego, it's like a 935 game. Um, I just think it's a bad spot for San Diego. Uh, they got uh, Friedrich on the mound uh, going, or free, excuse me, Friedrich. And this is a guy, his seven starts on the road, um, He's got an ERA uh, 6.19. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Pittsburgh tomorrow. I think that the Pirates want to finish out this homestand strong. I said when they started this homestand, which came right after the trade deadline, that they needed to make a statement when they got back home because the Pirates looked like they were selling, you know, instead of, you know, still being in contention and trying to fight for a wild card. Um, they needed to have a good home stand or three and one so far on the home stand uh, entering Wednesday night play. So I'm going to go ahead and ride them at a dollar seventy. I don't like laying that kind of price that often, but I think it should actually be higher. I think people are looking at Pittsburgh, you know, and they're not seeing them with the value that they used to have. It's another game, just real quick. I, I think it will be scalpable if you wanted to even just lay the minus one seventy. It's going to be minus two hundred tomorrow. You can play back at plus 190 and, you know, have a free beer. Yeah, the, the Pirates have a very favorable schedule going down the stretch. Uh, San Diego, I much prefer them hitting at home mm -hmm. than they do on the road. And just in this last home stand for San Diego, they were not going to cover off the ball. Mm -hmm. Go on the road, it's a little bit different story. All right, and the last one, uh, you've got a preseason game, Brian. You're taking a look at the, uh, the L.A. Rams game on Saturday. Tell us about that one. Yeah, obviously, first game back it's in L.A. Weird. L.A. Rams. It sounded uh, yeah, weird again, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's probably priced a little bit too high because everybody's just got the same feeling there. But the thing that I like is Dallas right now They're not starting the first-string quarterback, not playing the second-string quarterback, not playing Ezekiel Elliott, 
and the defense is battered and bruised, and they've even come out in the paper talking about they were worried they're not going to be able to field enough players on defense. Oh. That's a good thing to go against. And if you've been watching the line, everybody else is reading the same things I am. So get it as soon as possible. Opened up three and a half, uh, was four this morning. And just as we went on air, we're starting to see some four and a halfs. Uh, so, yeah, don't wait on it. It's, in the it's long, only going to go one way. In the long run, you're not going to get money laying over four points in, in the, the NFL preseason. Yeah. So if you do it, get it now. If it gets to six, forget it. It's not worth it. All right. And over under, guys, on how many times we're going to call the Rams St. Louis this year. Uh, I'll take under one and a half. Under one and a half. I'm you confident. I'm us. confident in all three of us. If someone does it uh, once, they'll hear enough of it. It won't happen uh, again. I'm taking the over just yeah. for me. <laughs> all right, we'll side bet after this. <laughs> Whenever uh, Houston went to Tennessee, it was uh, <laughs> I, I, I butchered that one for a long time. <laughs> all right, guys. Hey, this week NFL preseason action starts. We're going to give you ten dollars to use on a package at Wager Talk. Use coupon code. NFL X for exhibition and the number 10, and we'll give you $10 off. You can use it on any package this weekend. You can even use it on the weekend all access. That's NFL X and the number 10. Save $10 this week at wagertalk.com. That's it for this week's videos, guys. We'll be back next week. Thanks for tuning in, and good luck this week.